Hello everyone. Uh, I recently did a poll on whether or not you would like to see a video series on C. Uh, so, here it is. This is the first episode. Uh, if you would like to be a part of deciding future series, please feel free to join the Discord and participate. I'll be doing polls uh, and other new content you want to see. I'm also going to be stepping up, you know, the content that we're going to be seeing. So it is going to take longer to do. But as a result, the uh, the quality will hopefully be a bit better. It'll be mo co uh, more coherent, and uh, the topics will be getting more advanced. Um, yeah. So uh, for starters, this is just going to be uh, you know a little demo kind of uh, video, I guess. It's not going to be teaching you really any C yet. This is just going to be the first thing, how to install the C compiler. Um, I'm going to be doing this primarily on Windows, but you can follow along just fine on Mac as well. Um, it's just really to teach you the basics, nothing too fancy. Uh, depending on how well this video is received, I will be going ahead and I can do an advanced C, you know, where we get into memory management uh, and all that, that neat stuff. And um, the purpose of this video, I guess, was... Uh, to go ahead and launch in tangent or in parallel I mean with uh, my how to make an operating system from scratch series and the reason for that is because well based upon my demographics which is mostly on the discord um, bot it would be very complex and no one really knows any C so hence the C tutorials um, and so I want to tell you why you should learn C over something like C++. And here are a couple of reasons. Uh, the first of which is if you need a portable assembler or a lightweight assembler with an easy to port compiler, which C has. The reason being is that in C++ there are many th things, ugh, excuse me, there are many more things going on behind the scenes to make your life easier. You know, with uh, things such as like auto pointers and all that stuff, uh, and much, much more. Uh, if you know what those are. But those are much more complicated for the compiler to go ahead and compile and understand. So you have this extra bit of overhead. Uh, if your platform doesn't have C++, which could be for the reason, you know, the previous reason, C is just overall much easier to implement because it's so much closer to the hardware that uh, it, it, it's very lightweight. Uh, sometimes you just need to interact with the language. Only C can. Um, that could be, you know, like assembly. Generally, that won't happen too much. But, um... It, it could very well happen. Um, if you want to hack open source, C is very much the favorite. Um, you know, like if you want to be creating an operating system, uh, like uh, Linux, you know, you're gonna. It's C is a must, and you're gonna need to know it well because it is entirely done in C. Uh, and like I said before, since we're gonna be creating an operating system from scratch, this is gonna be used to teach the necessary elements of those tutorials and the next one I'm going to be flip-flopping so the next one will be a um, introduction not an introduction creating an OS from scratch and then the one after that will be the introduction to C tutorial um, <clears throat> so the first thing I want to go ahead and just show you how to do and um, this video for the record is going to be very short maybe six seven minutes long uh, I'm trying to go ahead and make our videos much shorter but the purpose of that is so that um, it's much easier to follow along and as such. So the first thing you're going to do is if you're on Windows, you're going to want to install Visual Studio. Now Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, and this is going to give you a nice, um, you know, C compiler built in alongside with that. I personally won't be using Visual Studio, but you, you very well can. Uh, if you so please. Another thing, uh, if you are on Mac, you're going to need to go ahead. Excuse me, and you're going to need to download Xcode. This is another, this is the IDE, you can use this just fine. Um, this is for Mac, and it'll also allow you to work on C and give you a built in compiler. Uh, or on Mac, you can go into your console, your terminal, I mean, and you can type in CC and go ahead and install the tools, or you also have the Intel uh, compiler that you can use. Um, but for the purpose of this series, I'm just going to be using the Visual Studio one. And the way you go ahead and get to the compiler is you just activate, you just go into the search bar and type in developer command prompt. 
open it up and then now you're going to go ahead and get a nice command prompt now just go ahead and go to your directory so I'm going to go ahead uh, and just get it to there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I already made a little thing here um, yes so now the way you use the compiler is just CL and then you're gonna use the name of the file I create a little intro file named intro.c so we just do that and as you can see it creates an intro.exe an intro.object and all we have to do to use it is just type in that name intro uh, and this is gonna call the intro.exe which we can also run if we just type in intro.exe so that works well um, and if you're curious this is just the boilerplate code on how it works uh, and I will okay so this video is a bit short I know it's only five minutes right now so uh, I'm I know I said earlier that it'll be flip-flopping the next video is going to be an introduction to C and that's gonna be getting you into the syntax uh, and first understanding it um, this is little video is just to get you right in onto uh, installing C and how to compile it because believe me that's <laughs> that's gonna be important we're gonna need to have to understand how to compile uh, and all this so I will see you very soon in the next part